The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the January 26th, the fabulous Friday edition of today's Trader Zen Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. Uh, even more important than that, though, in this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. And if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got your back. You can send me an email. Send that early and send it off to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be good enough to put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on fabulous, fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You got the Dow up 115 and the S&P's up 9. NASDAQ's off 21. The Russell's up 9. Semis are down 81. Trendy's off 92. Gold's flat. Silver's off three pennies. Lights recruiters up a buck 78. Natural gas off seven cents. And the 30-year treasury printed out at 119.21. If we take a look at the leaders in the clubhouse to the upside, we've got App Folio up 51 bucks, 30%. Mercado Libre, 39.50, over 2%. MicroStrategy, 23, 5%. BioRad Laboratory, 7% or 22 bucks. Booz Allen is up 17 bucks, a 13% move. To the downside, the Shakers, Fair Isaac Corp, 53 bucks, 4%. KLA Corp, 34 bucks, 5%. Broadcom, 15 bucks, a little over 1%. Lamb Research, 13 and change, 1.5% out there. United Rentals, nine down 9 bucks, about 1 and 4 tenths percent there. So those are our movers and our Shakers out there where do we want to begin let's go begin by taking a look at the uh, charts for the e uh, for the equity future contracts let's just switch over to stevie's white background charts out here let's get a feel for what's going on daily wise so if we take a look at the es mini upper left hand chart what we will see here is that yesterday its road momentum indicator top was negated let me just expand out the chart maybe it makes it a little bit easier to view i don't know but here we go anyways. So here is the bear shooting star candle that formed on December, on January 22nd. Yesterday, price closed above that. That negated that signal. We can see another Rhodes momentum indicator signal is present. Uh, that requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm. And obviously, we're going to need to see it close first, at least, below its uh, oscillator and change line. That is green. That tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero. Those are bullish conditions out there. Only a close below 49.06 today inside the ES Mini would suggest otherwise. We have made a new all-time high today by poking above the high from a couple of days ago. This is the ES Mini that we're taking a look at out here. With regard to uh, any other topping signals that I see out here, we do have... We do have a wave seven uh, signal. That's the letter G that's on my screen out there. That requires a lower high. So the earliest confirmation of that would be Monday at 5 p.m. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ a couple of days ago generated a bearish shooting star candle. That is uh, that confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Uh, just the bearish reverse candle uh, on, on its own doesn't confirm anything out there. But now that confirmed a Rhodes momentum indicator top. We can see that in earlier this morning as price pulled back out here, that what it did was it tested support, that key level of support, that green oscillator and change line. So even though it's got a top, because price was able to successfully test support and hold, and there's two support levels now, but the first one we're talking about is that oscillator and change line. By the way, that's printing about 17 500, I believe. Let me give you the exact number. 17,500. Yeah, that's where that is trading at right now. Uh, so price tested that. 
But you've got resistance at the top of this new profile that is attempting to form. 17,683, support down at 17,351. If this profile takes hold, if price were to close below that green oscillator and change line, what would be required to give us a change in trend signal would be that close below 17,351 out there. So we'll keep our eyes on the NQ because it's got a top, but overall it is neutral. The Dow does not have a topping pattern. It's got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's present, but that requires a bearish reversal candle. We're at new all time highs today. No no reason for it not to continue to move higher. And the Russell 2000, which has had a nice rally over a couple of days, period, but it has run into resistance both at the top of its profile as well as that green oscillator and change line. What price really needs to do, and I would say what price really, really needs to do in order for this to tell us that it's bullish, is close above the high from January 24th. And that's at 2017.20. That is what's going on in the daily time frame for the ESENQ, the Dow, and the Russell 2000. But let's not stop there. Let's go take a look at uh, what's going going on from an intraday perspective. Let's see which charts pop up on our screen first. It is the NQ. So in the case of the NQ, let's just simply expand this out. Let me go through this in detail. You may want to get your pen and pad of paper out there because there are some numbers here that you want to write down. And that is this first with regard to the NQ. It's got a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Price closed below its bullish structure profile for more than two consecutive bars out there. That tells you and I that if this is only a counter trend move, price would find resistance either at the bottom, we're just trading just above that, or at 17,630 the latter is more likely the uh, period, uh, the uh, price point. Now, if price did close above that, there still is more resistance on the five-hour time frame chart, but it would hint to you and I that this is more than just a counter trend rally inside the NQ. So we'll leave it at 17,639 this number for you folks to pay, for all of us to pay attention to. If we take a look at the four-hour time frame chart out here, we've got a similar set of, of facts. The difference here, it's a TD9 count top. Price closes below the bottom of its bullish structured profile. Does it for more than two consecutive bars. And now price is, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Take that back. Take that back. New profile formed out here. I didn't. I just caught that as my eyes looked at it. So, all right, that. So, skip that idea. Now, what we have out here is price is just simply trading with inside its profile, and it's trading into a sell zone on the four-hour time frame. And that sell zone is between whoops, uh, seventeen six oh nine and seventeen six sixty seven. It really was six sixty six. But I'm uh, not. I'm uh, I'm not superstitious. But I'm also you know, when you can avoid a fight. Avoid a fight. So let's not say 666. Let's say 667. That's for the NQ. That's for the four-hour five four hour time frame chart. Don't worry. I'll spit it out. And in the case of the 120-minute chart, it too has a new profile resistance there at 17650. Um, what else does Stevie see out here? The 30-minute chart negated its TD9 count top. Uh, and that did that with a close above 17611 and a quarter. We're trading right back below that. Watch 1760. 17.611.25 today. On 30-minute basis, if price is able to remain above that, that's telling you and I that we should see a further rally. That is inside the NQ out there. Uh, so we get back to this break. We're going to go to a break in just a few minutes out. A few minutes, yeah. So we'll just have a dead silence for a few minutes. In really just a few seconds out here. We come back from this break. We're going to take like a ticker symbol RMD. That's for David H. He's got the 190 calls. His questions will fill the gap from 216. I'd love you to figure that uh, answer that question while we're at the break. Uh, G-Man is in a day trade for the semis. SOXL is the vehicle is used in there, so he's looking for some direction. And uh, GPH wants to take a look at gold, the short term, and the daily A to B equals CD price targets. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. We've got the charts up for Res uh, ResMed. RMD is the uh, ticker symbol. This is for uh, David H., uh, and uh, David is got the 164 calls. His question is, will this go fill the gap out here? And uh, I guess my answer to that question right now is no. Here's what I see with regard to uh, ResMed, uh, David. I see this. I don't see any kind of a topping pattern out here. Um, you know, yesterday was a gap up. Today's a bull sash candle. I mean, it's in your trading above profile on a greenhouse or and change line. It's, it's just simply all out bullish. In the case of the weekly chart, it actually it's going to negate. So this week here, well, unless this thing were to fall off planet Earth in the next uh, four or five hours. But otherwise, what this is going to do is going to negate this TD9 count top from December 29th out there. And what you can see what this is doing is this is setting up an A to B equals CD to the upside. Let's go get a, a measurement on that or an approximate measurement. So the A to B, and we'll also just take a look at the volume metrics from a weekly standpoint. I'll just simply move this over to the C point out there. We're just trying to get a, a, a version of a, a price objective. It uh, doesn't mean that it'll hit that target exactly. We just use that as a guideline out there. So that one-to-one -one should take us up towards the 212-ish area out there. Not that it can't go higher than that. In fact, it should go higher than that. The reason is this retracement from the top of the uh, 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 swing high from December 29th or the candle from December 29th down to the low on January 5th was a 34% retracement. So it's close enough to the 0.382. When you only do a 0.382 retracement, odds favor you're going to do more than a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. So let's say the range is really going to be between 212 and I'd say right around the 225, 229 area. Let's go with 229. That's the weekly TD9 count breakdown recess. Now adding to that idea of this rally is coming from the monthly time frame chart. Now, it's very close here. The month doesn't end until uh, next week out here. And if we did get a close, right now we are trading above its red oscillator and change line. Um, and I believe it's also trading above the top of its profile, 176. Yeah, and it's trading above profile. So if it can close above, and by the way, the oscillator and change line, 193.42 as we speak right now, David. So a price close above that, everything here, daily, weekly, monthly, is just simply bullish out there. So if your question was, is it going to get back and fill this gap from uh, yesterday, uh, the day before, my answer to that question is it's not going to do it anytime soon out here. At least that's what the current charts are suggesting to both you and I. So I hope that that analysis uh, helped you with your uh, trade and uh, best of luck to you. 
Uh, G-Man is in the semiconductor trade. Uh, so he wants to take a look at that. Let's uh, pull up the SOXL out here, which is really uh, being now that's the 3X. And you really want to probably take a look at now. Probably want to really take a look at the semiconductor index. But here's what we know. What we know is that if price today closes above 3526, this is the SOXL. If it closed above 3526, it will have a TD9 count top out there. It already has a Roach Momentum Indicator top, G-Man, and that's because price gap to the downside. However, what you know, uh, you took a long trade here, is that what price was also doing was moving down and testing that oscillator and change line. That's a green oscillator and change line. There's no profiles. Profiles are below. So its overall market condition right now is neutral because of the gap to the downside and because of the confirmation of the Roach Momentum Indicator top. Weekly chart looks beautiful. Says that it wants to continue to move higher. Monthly chart says the same thing. Monthly chart shows an A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, longer term price objective inside the SOXL could be 50 221 but we don't want to really just rely on the 3x out there uh but so hopefully that information gave you no you were looking at short term what was going on so for real short term let's pull over for soxl let's see what we can find here's a 30 minute time frame chart roads momentum indicator top price uh, finding support at his breakout level 3504 one close below it that's just a one hit wonder that doesn't qualify so support key level of support is held 3504 uh, what price could do from here is move up towards this is a day trade. I'm not saying it's going to get up to 36.78 today, but that's really its price target range on a 30 minute basis, 36.78 to 37.03. Let's just size this down to something like a 10 minute time frame chart. Oscillator and change line will remain as the 30 out here, 30 minute that is. So here you've got a, as I see it, looks to me like an A to B equals C D to the downside. But the question is, did it actually fulfill that target? So let's just go draw in the A to B. Let's just, yeah, I think that it did. Let's move this over to that high. And yeah, so it's, you know, it's a, it's a wild one, that's for sure. But it does have a buy the D point pattern. So here's the deal. So I'm glad we went to the 10 minute chart for you, G Man, especially because you are, this is a day trade. You can see you've got that nice buy the D point bottom pattern and price closed above the top of that profile on a 10 minute basis for one bar. Not enough to confirm a profile change in trend. So now you've just got a consolidation with inside this range. It is a bullish structured profile out there. Um, you don't want to see it close below this morning's low. Now, I don't know what time frame it is. I use G-Man. If I did and then put that up, we'd uh, both look at that together to see if we could find anything. 65 minutes is a good time frame as well for SOXL. Price here uh, has a Rose Momentum Indicator top. Price pulls back to its support level, 34.95. So all this is telling us really is that um, support is held daily, intraday type support or patterns that have formed out there. Uh, and if you close below today's law, I'm sure you'd be closing that trade out anyways. So um, that's the best that I can come up with for you, come up with for you, G-Man. So I hope that that helps you out. And if there's any other specific piece of information you're looking for, just let me know. We'll be happy to get to it. GPH wants to take a look at the short term and the daily A to B equals CD targets for gold. So you, you know to do that properly, we're going to switch screen so I can go to my A to B equals CD tool out there. And then I can answer his questions specifically and, and, uh, and with accuracy. We like that. So let's go over and take a look at Goldilocks. Let's go to my uh, this chart here. And this is the daily time frame. So what I have set up right now is an A to B equals CD pattern. You can see that the A point being out here from the trading day of January, I'm sorry, December 28th. The B point that we're using is the B point from January 11th. It makes a 61.8% retracement the following day by getting up into the price level of 2067. That's January 12th. That's the A to B equals CD. The B point out here had volume. Again, the trading day of November, January 11, 205,000 contracts passed with 285,000 contracts. That's your confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside GPH. We have price still below the bottom of its profile. So that A to B equals CD pattern is most certainly active out here. Now, what happens if price closes below uh, the low from the trading session of uh, December the 13th? You're not seeing my screen? Yeah, you're seeing my screen. 
Okay, uh, if it closes below this low here, December 13th, that would actually set up a new A to B equals CD pattern. So let's go ahead and draw that pattern in here. No, we don't have that just yet, but just so you can kind of understand uh, what what we're potentially looking at here. And that would give us a price projection of 1933 out there. That would be the larger one. So that's not in play as we speak. So that's the A to B equals CD pattern that we've got at the moment to the downside on the daily time frame. You wanted intraday charts out here. Let's start with, I don't know, five minutes. What do we have for a five-minute chart out here? So on the five-minute basis, well, I don't see any kind of A to B equals CD pattern out here. The B point of an A to B equals CD pattern would be the swing point here, or could be the swing point. Nah, probably not even. Let's let's take a look at it. When I say not even, because I, it doesn't look like that retracement is near 0.382, but maybe it is. Let's take a look here. This is what it could look like, but it has not firmed. Yeah, it was even less than a 0 0.382 retracement. Five minute, I don't see an A to B equals CD to the downside. Ten minute, let's do that real quickly here. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. 
Uh, folks, uh, let's go out to uh, Denver, Colorado and speak with Ron. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm feeling great, Steve. Thank you for taking the call. My pleasure. Um, I'm, uh, I want to get involved with the semiconductor industry because on February 1st, I understand the government's going to put a $50 billion package to help the semiconductor industry to make advanced chips, knowing that 90% of the advanced chips are made in Taiwan. We got a problem, if, especially if China takes over Taiwan. But anyway, I was wondering, Maybe. looking at we, Intel, we might. is this a we, good time? We. I would like to do about a two or three month on Intel. Is this a good time to get involved with Intel? I wouldn't or, think so. Do you wait? Yeah, I think I. Well, well, here, let me let me interpret the charts for you, and then you make that decision. So. First, if we take a look at the daily time frame chart, you know, you've got this big gap to the downside. I'm assuming it's with volume. So let me take a quick peek here. So far today, it's down with 64 million shares. Uh, what it's targeting is its breakout level, which had 42 million shares. So this is moving lower with volume. Now, there's not an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern on the daily time frame. And the reason is, is that this swing point that we'd have to use is the C point, which is the trade day of January 25th. You know, it was almost 100% move of move. It's over 0.786 retracement. So there's no A to B equal CD pattern to the downside. All that we have here, Ron, is price trading below its bullish structure daily profile. And that says to Stevie that what price wants to do is go target the 4181 level. So note that down in your pad of paper as one possible entry area. Now, the weekly chart says, comes back to us and says, well, this could be a buy area. And the reason that it says that, Ron, is that this formed a TD9 count top about five weeks ago. And right now, today, uh, price has pulled all the way back because of this gap to the downside. And where price has gotten down into is into its old bearish structured profile area. And a counter trend move, which is what we'd be talking about here, because you're saying, hey, I want to take a long position inside of Intel. So now a counter trend move to the downside on a weekly basis, where would it find support if it's only a counter trend move? And the answer there would be between 4270 and 4402. And this morning, price got into that area. If price were to close below 4270, not trade below it, but actually close below it, then I would say this is more than just a counter trend move to the downside. It still could find support at 4006. 4006 would be the bottom of the weekly profile. So there's potential here. The daily's not uh, really on board with taking that long position, but the weekly is. So before I go on and take a look at anything else, any questions about what I've shared so far, what the charts are communicating to us? No, no, you're very clear, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Excellent. Now let's go to the monthly time frame. And the monthly time frame says, you know, you just might want to be cautious out here. And the reason is, is because it has a TD9 count top that completed last month. And now, and it did it right down, it right did it at its breakdown re, uh, resistance level at the $49 area. And now on a monthly basis, we're back below the top of that profile. That's an area that I would have uh, assumed would have held out there with that close last month. Uh, now, it's the month's not over, so anything can happen. I doubt that that will happen. And what the monthly chart is saying is that it wants to pull back further. And that price that it wants to pull back to is 36.32. So the weekly, the only thing I could hang my hat on to you to say, you know, if you want to try a position, maybe it's an option position or something, would be the weekly time frame chart. But how I'd set up those parameters, if you were to see a close, let's just say a close below 41.81, you're likely in the wrong side of that trade. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. I will watch those numbers, and I appreciate your comments. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just watch it and see. Yeah, so you know, the call is timely because we were looking at that SOXL for G-Man, I believe it was, inside the Tiger's Den. Now, I'm just going to real quickly here just take a look at a 10-minute time frame chart, just like we did on the semiconductors. And here on a 10-minute chart, my recollection is, and Intel's doing the same thing, Ron, is it has bounced right up into resistance, which was the top of the 10-minute profile, 4463. On a 30-minute time frame, if we take a look at Intel, um, I don't have anything here to suggest that we've got a bottom. I just have price consolidated with inside its profile level. So I think that the, the only thing, again, to get you into that trade would be the weekly. I say be patient here. Let's be patient. Let's see if at least price gets down to the 4181 level. All righty? I appreciate that. And, um, yeah, it, uh, the fact that they say 90% of the chips, advanced chips, are made in Taiwan, 
it really puts us in a dangerous position as a country if, if China makes a move on Taiwan. I would say it only creates a problem, Ron, is if we take some action against China and create some kind of, you know, war out there, if you will. Uh, we, you know, if, I mean, all you have to do is go walk through Walmart, right? That's just a China store for the most part, or at least a substantial portion. So China doesn't have any problem selling goods, um, you know, and they are trying to create a consumer-oriented uh, society out there, just simply trying to replicate a little bit of what we do have here in the U.S. So I, I, I hear your comment out there, but, you know, they're still economic. But if we're in war, I agree with you 100%. If there's some kind of war that we've got that's going on, yeah, you're not going to sell, you know, bullets to your the person that you're uh, that you're uh, fighting against. So, uh, anyways, I just threw that out there. Hey, Ron, always good to speak to you. Have a great week. It looks like you're going to have nothing but blue skies for the next uh, four or five days out there. So, enjoy that weather. Yeah, except it's snowing this morning. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, can't, you can't get Thanks everything. A lot, though. Thank you for your for your input. Thank you. you. Bet. You bet. That was Ron in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we do have another request. Let's go to that. That's from inside the Tiger's Den. It is from Duncan Steve. And Duncan wants to take a look at a ticker symbol, C-E-L-H, out there. That's what we've got up on our screen. C-E-L-H is a what? I don't know. Cellophane? No, it is Celsius Holdings out there. And what Celsius Holdings is doing, it's holding support. There's really three levels of support that this thing is uh, holding out here. Uh, that first level out there is going to be the uh, bottom of its daily profile, 52.66. The second level is going to be that oscillator and change line. That's at 52.13. And if we open this up enough out here, well, shoot. What we've got to do here, we can actually draw a rising price trend line out here. Um, and that would look something like this. Uh, but, uh, come right off of here. I believe what we're going to find is that this is today holding that little rising trend line out there. Duncan, so you see that? So that's what we see on a daily time frame. So I would say that if price closes below today's low, and today's low is 52.20, then all three of those levels of support will have failed. And that would then suggest to you and I that CELH is getting ready to head to the downside, to, heading ready to head down further out there. Now, where is further? So the only levels of support, well, let me just open up this daily chart just to make sure there's not a breakout level, and there is not. So the only level of support that I've got now in CELH takes us over into that monthly time frame. And on a monthly time frame out here, you can see you've got resistance at the top of the profile. That's been uh, attempted for four consecutive months out here. 56.29, uh, Duncan, if you see a monthly close above that, that would be a pretty bullish outcome, I think. Uh, if we take a look at the weekly time frame, so where's support here? 47.85 is the first level. That was one of the reasons I went over to the monthly chart for you. And then the second level will be 39.41. Uh, so that's all that I see. Uh, this does have a nice roachment to indicator bottom pattern. Uh, but if price were to close below that low, that low being 48.11, that says curtains. And that would say that's how we get to 39.41. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hey, folks, uh, for those of you that are still listening, we are back live. So sorry about that uh, interruption that we had out there. Uh, we have the uh, – do I have to repost anything? Are we good uh, there, Al? You've got my uh, charts up. I should have the uh, New York Stock Exchange black background screen up. I just want to make sure that you've got that. Charts look good. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Well, you know, we did have some requests that came in. Um, so, uh, of course, I responded. I responded to. I responded to those folks in the den. So I think I've given you the information that you're looking for. Let me just kind of. Uh, let me summarize the markets uh, a little bit here. We've got a couple minutes before we go to a break, and then we'll have another couple minutes after that. So we're looking at the New York Stock Exchange uh, chart, and the tool that we're looking at here is uh, panel number. There's a center panel. It's the one where you see the 150 plus 150 minus and the minus 250 uh, level out there. Um, let me just let people know we're back on. And uh, so, and that is, uh, that's the advanced decline oscillator line. That is nothing more than the uh, difference between the 39 and 19 period advanced decline line itself. When that oscillator reading uh, gets above the zero threshold level, which it did yesterday, it closed above it yesterday, uh, that was the first signal that uh, buyers were, were the ones in control of the general markets. We're trading above that today. We're actually at a higher ratio uh, today. And that's a signal that uh, buyers are the ones that are in control of the general market. So you want to most certainly uh, keep that under consideration. A second thing is uh, taking a look at the spot volatilities. Now, the spot volatilities you can see here, I'll just simply expand out this chart. Spot volatilities is trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. When it trades below the 50-day exponential moving average, that is also bullish for the S&P 500, for the ES Mini out there. You might say, how did you come up with that idea? And how I came up with that idea was many years ago, and I'm talking many, many years ago, I ran a study that looked at the S&P 500 and the spot volatilities and tried to identify, in fact, it did identify at that time, the uh, uh, the uh, exponential moving average where it provided the uh, best identification for whether the market was going to move sideways to higher or sideways to lower. And that was the 50-day. I don't know if that's changed, but I use the 50-day, and it works pretty darn good. And we take a look at this set of charts, uh, this chart out here. The uh, green rectangular boxes are periods of time where that spot volatility is below the 50-day. The red rectangular square boxes are when it is above the 50-day. So you can see it works pretty darn well. And as we speak right now, 
we are still below the 50-day expense moving average. So that is also a bullish condition. So I wanted to be able to share that with you. If we take a look at how equity futures are trading in other currencies, we got to a new all-time high this morning for the S&P 500 in terms of Japanese yen. We got to a new all-time high today in terms of Great British Pounds out here and then we in terms of euros and also in euros that is also a very bullish signal out there so the s&p 500 it's bullish whether we're taking a look at the you know no matter what we're looking at not no matter what we're looking at but it's bullish with regards to those three elements zero to tfnn You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. .com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So in that last segment towards the end there, we were taking a look at the New York Stock Exchange, the advanced decline, uh, 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 line, advanced decline oscillator. That's in bullish condition. That's bullish for the S&P 500. Spot volatility below its 50-day expense moving average. That is bullish for the S&P 500. Those two conditions remain. It's just simply all out bushes. We then switched over to take a look at my ES mini charts out here. And we are have made a new all-time high today in terms of dollars, euros, pounds, and yen. What that tells us, and this is really important, it doesn't happen that often. Often. But when it does happen, it's pretty cool out here. And that is that we have a global rally. This is an international rally. It's a rally in the U.S. We're at new all-time highs. It's a rally inside of the uh, uh, the Eurozone. It's uh, over in the U.K. as well, part of the Eurozone, so to speak, as well as over in um, on Japan. 
Uh, so all of those folks are, are buyers out there. Now, there's going to be a point in time where all of those folks turn to sellers. But right now, those are not the market conditions that we have out there. When we see those, we'll report on that just as much out there. But we've got a global international rally. Capital is fleeing Europe and coming to the U.S. Capital is fleeing Asia and coming to the U.S. This is it. We're the king. Um, and uh, this could last for quite a long time, and I expect that it will. I expect it will last all of uh, at least all of 2024, maybe 2025 out there. So uh, that's what I see when I take a look at the uh, equity markets out there. Now, if we just take a quick peek here at that nine-panel market update chart, just to see if there's anything else out here for Stevie to really share with you. Again, watch 1360 at day's end on the spot volatility. If the price were to close above that, we'd have a different outcome. If the NQ were to close below 17,351. That's the bottom of its new profile. That would give us a different message out there. But that is not the message that we have. I guess lastly, I'll leave you with this. You're going to go ahead and complete, not you, but Lightspeed Crude is going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count top. Uh, today, that's going to result in a retracement. I don't have enough time to put that chart up on our screen to take a look at the oscillator and change line. But uh, now, it price on Monday. Oh, by the way, Apogee comes in at 314 in the morning on Sunday. So you'll want to go ahead and uh, take a look at the futures market, see where instruments are trading, and note that specific uh, price point out there. We can talk about that on Monday when we're back together. So everybody have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining us this week, and I will see you on Friday. Be safe out there. Take care.